how the analytics were tripping on the end today, we're gonna do something fun. That is right, I have been sick last week, so I haven't really been able just to do some smart content. So I figured we're gonna do uh, something different that might be actually fun, I'm actually pretty hyped for that. The idea was I actually found some... <laughs> some theories like this on internet on X or Twitter for RuneScape from Breaking Bad characters. You're goddamn right. That's how good they will be in RuneScape. So yeah, there there was an idea, I liked it, so I figured why not do something similar with Smite? Yeah, let's just jump into it. There is five tiers, as you can see, Divine is the highest, Dogwater is the lowest, Rank Warrior, Mid Tier Donut are in between. Like, we're gonna quickly establish the simple rule first, though. We are not gonna assume the characters will not like to play video games, because this will just ruin the whole point of this video, right? Because if they don't like video games, like, 99% of the characters wouldn't be involved, so that would not make any freaking sense. Without any further ado, let's begin. Gustavo Fring, Gus for short, is gonna be the first pick, the boss of the cartel, the manager of the Los Polos Hermanos. He is a highly intelligent man, whether you like it or not, he has really strategy mind. I mean, he was running the cartel for quite a while, with a great success. I feel like he's gonna be somewhere up there, whether it's rank warrior or divine. I feel like he actually might be, like, first first pick just go for divine. So Gustavo is highly intelligent, he plans ahead, he is a strategist, which goes along with the fact that he plans ahead. I feel like in Smite he would be really, really good player. Probably he would be the guy who leads the team to the W in every game and he has ice in his veins like he really doesn't crumble under the pressure so he's definitely like a perfect example for the player you know he's not hot-headed he's not gonna scream on his teammates when someone like misplays and do some donut play like definitely a divine he might be what only pick up in there I guess we shall see let's continue next Hank Shredder a member of the DEA. Ah, this is this is a tough one because he's obviously a good leader. His reflexes has to be good because he was in action. But then again, he married Mary, <laughs> which doesn't really speaks too well about his <laughs> intelligence. So I kind of want to put him in ranked warrior. But the marriage with Mary, like, kinda screams to me more mid-tier. No, we're gonna give him ranked warrior just because I feel like he would be really good team captain. He would, you know, get the spirit together, just keep the team together. But then again, he was sometimes too impulsive, you know? When you got under his skin, he could get rough-headed and then lose control and then lose maybe the, the element of captaincy. I don't know, like, this kinda... I feel like we're gonna keep him in mid-tier because of it. I feel like it's mid-tier. We, we might change it up a little bit later on, but for now it's mid-tier. Yeah. Wow, that sucked. Okay, Hector Salmanca. Family man, one of the... Mafia early bosses, he was like a big star. It's more in actually info about that in Better Call Saul and we are focusing on Breaking Bad and remember in Breaking Bad Hector Salamanca is actually crippled which will affect his gameplay a lot. I believe he was paralyzed and he actually was able to, if I'm correct, use only one of his hands because of this, I mean, he has to be somewhere lower, right? Nothing personal. And then again, even if he would be fit 100%, he was cruel, hot-headed one. Son of a bitch. He was losing his temper like real easily. So in the dock water, Epsilon, yeah, he has to be in here. Like there is there is no other way about it, man. <laughs> he has a dog water. If I ever saw one. Jesse Pinkman, aka Science Beach. Bitch! Huh. A man of really strong morals. But 
how good he is in smart. I mean, there is an evidence that he actually played video games. He has to be up there, right? He's pretty smart. Like, not maybe on the level of Gustavo Fring or Walter White smart. But he is not the best under pressure, so he could be shaky there. I believe he will be a rank warrior. That's the right spot for the sipping one. Yeah, Mr. White! Yes, science! Oof, we have a one that we all love, huh? I mean, obviously, Doc Water. I mean, Mary is just obviously would be shit in video games, like, let's be honest. Mike Wazowski! That's right, he's Wazowski. I'm not even gonna attempt calling him by his last name because I'll just break my tongue on this one. Mike was really intelligent, really patient with his plans, individual. He wasn't really cruel, he was always, I mean, cruel doesn't really affect the smart gameplay, let's be honest. I mean, maybe it does. If you butcher your lane opponent like 10 times, actually, and you just don't let them farm and keep on butchering them, I mean, there, there, there is... There is some sort of cruelty there. The patience is key here. Dance around the fire, gold fury, like the team fights. That patience and intelligence would be really important. I don't feel like he would be the best shot caller because he was pretty quiet and analytic about the situation. But he's up there. Most definitely he would be a really good gamer. And I feel like I feel like he might be in divine actually. I mean, he might have not best reflexes because of his age, but then again, he was a hitman who like, had enough of reflexes to get the shit done, so I feel like we're sticking him up. Sticking the Mike Wazowski in the van. Skylar, Skylar Wallet. Huh? I feel like Skylar is uh, getting a little bit too much of a stick, like, besides of the tier list and all that jazz, like, in Breaking Bad, I feel like. I mean, I obviously didn't love the character, but if you actually think about it, like, some of the things that she said and done actually made sense. Her husband started acting really weird and suspicious, so she had her reasons to get worried, you know? But then again, we are talking about Smite here, and I don't believe she would be really good in video games. She might be a little bit better than her sister, so maybe this is a little bit personal, but I'll stick her in donut category. That's right, Skylar, you are a massive donut. Walter White, why are you moving? Walter, you are tearing me apart. You are tearing me apart! Well, let's see, let's see, let's think. Is Walter White divine category or not? Mm, he's a sm really smart, cunning man who's similar to Gas and plan ahead. Really highly intelligent strategist as well. He's a really good leader as well. I mean, he just literally started making drugs and just <laughs> get into the cartel and made a mate for name for himself like really easily there is a character there so he would be a really good leader in the battlefield of gods battleground of gods whatever you like to call it so i feel like i feel like he has he has to be divine right i am the danger he has to be up there the divine three divines like a lot of divines huel 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 what do we do with you i mean huel's a big guy. He was a stoic guy. Very cool. But when it come, came to work, he was getting shit done. He wasn't like super talkative, but he was communicating. He was asking questions. <laughs> Smite wise, I feel like I feel like he would be okay. Maybe not great. I feel like we're gonna put Huel in mid tier. Nice and safe. Walter White Jr. This one is a tough one, honestly. I don't feel like he would be bad, but then again, he was kind of lost, I would say. He was kind of trying to find a place for himself. Just understand the rule, because their family was kind of torn apart. Because of the cancer of the Walter, aka Heisenberg. 
so it was kind of kind of hot mess. So because of that, I'm actually gonna put him. Mm. Yeah, I feel like he's a donut. Sorry. Sorry, Walter Jr. You're a hot mess. This is bullshit. Jane, oh sweet Jane, oh, did you deserve better? Yeah, similar to my clock. These two hurt like a motherfucker, huh? Yeah, when they're gone. Spoilers. She was an artist. She was pretty smart. Clever girl, clever little girl. Um, so I feel like she would find like maybe as a creative artist niche picks with niche builds that will actually work and made it successful. So I feel like she she's definitely up there. I feel like she she would be with fucking with drugs <laughs> as much. But then again, like most of like half of the characters probably did. I mean, maybe not. One, two, two three, four. Five, six. I believe that we know of. I digress. Uh, yeah, she's right over. Butter, butter, butter. Mushroom, mushroom. Butter is a donut. It's pretty dull. <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> uh, what's what's more to say? He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Plays video games, so that's a plus. Maybe I'm a little bit too rough on him. Maybe. Because he did play video games, right? He was kind of a geek, kind of an early guy, who liked fantasy and horror games. Mm, you know what, Badger? You, you deserve it, buddy. You are a meat too. There you go, boy. The Salamanca Brothers. Who we were. Not really talkative, too. Hmm? But they are getting the shit done. That's for sure. Close to the family, so they're stick with team, I believe, when the situation gets sticky, so it's just an easy ranked warrior pick for you guys. So good man, so good man. He's a lawyer with many talents. Pretty talkative person. Because I mean obviously he's a lawyer, so that makes sense. So I feel like he would be really good in communicating with the team and kinda of talking them through the plan and executing it together. Skill-wise, would he be good enough? Ranked warrior or divine? I mean, if I, if I put Mike up there, I feel like we have to put Saul up there as well, right? Skinny Pit is next. I mean, Skinny Pit was more clever than Badger, that's for sure. Another good friend of Jesse, who did play video games. I feel like he was pretty cool in general. Cool and collected, so that would help. Uh, on the battlefield of gods, I feel like he's a ranked warrior as well. If I put Jesse in here, he has to be in here as well. I believe. I believe that's only fair. Tuko. Tuko is a fucking crazy, bad shit guy. Ah, oh, tight, 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 yeah. Feel like he would be terrible at the game. Being brand new level of gameplay, so he might not be super terrible by himself, but every mistake he makes, he just fucking. Blame the shit out of the teammates, be toxic in general, so he would ruin not only experience for himself but for everyone else. To the point he would keep on feeding, trolling, and just all the bad shit in general. He would be a dog water for completely different reasons than Mary and even Hector. And last but not least, Todd. Eef. Eesh, eesh, eesh. Yeah, the most likable character in the series, huh? I mean, whether you hate him or you like him, he really got shit done. He was a suck up for sure. Hmm. But how would that affect his gameplay? It wouldn't really, let's be honest. Unless you have Aphrodite in your team, then you would suck up for them jugs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, cut that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. See me up tier? I believe he would be a ranked warrior. Yeah, I believe he would be a ranked warrior. Alright guys, that's it. That's the tier list for Breaking Bad that I made myself. The Breaking Bad characters, how good they will be in Smite. Let me know, do you agree or do you not agree? I don't really care, this is my tier list and I'm... Stick to it. JK, I mean... I had some picks that I'm not 100% sure, so yeah, let me know what would you do. And um, yeah. If you enjoyed, let me know. That was pretty, pretty fun experience, something different that I do on a daily basis. So let me know if you enjoy something like this, maybe a different series. 
uh, maybe like Game of Thrones or I don't know, maybe there will be something fun like this to do. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subs this year. Ambitious goal, but I feel if we can do it. And yeah, that's it for this video, I see you all in the next one, bye bye!